Hello. Thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's hair care review. So as you see, it is a brush and this is the wet brush, um, speed dry brush. So if you'd like to see if the wet brush brand is all that it claims to be and all that, then please keep on watching. Like it says, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that kind of stuff. I also have an OnlyFans page dedicated to this channel. So you can watch tomorrow's video there today for free. There's chatting, live streams, all sorts of stuff. But uh, yeah, link is down below. So I've been like everyone else on the planet, if you're on social media, um, wet brush is everywhere. And this has been around, I've seen it for a couple of years. And I'm like, oh, it's a brush, it can't be that good. And one day I was just looking on Amazon and this was on sale for $9. I'm like, okay, let's bite the bullet. Let's see if it's any good. But um, this, so the whole entire thing with wet brush is that it's supposed to be like more gentle on the hair. It's supposed to help detangle, but help like hair breakage and fallout and everything like that. But anyway, I'll go and put the claims like right here or down below in the description. But anyway, I picked up the vented um, speed brush, um, speed dry brush, because um, I thought it'd be easier to clean out. So that's why I picked it up. I have been using it. I, of course, saved the packaging because why not? But anyway, so this is what it looks like. It just looks like a standard brush. Sorry, you're probably gonna see hair in it, but let me go ahead and take off my towel. I'll be right back. Maybe. Sorry if my, if it was crooked. Anyway, so as you can see, I just washed my hair and um, we're gonna go ahead and use this, but um, I do like that the bristles, they all have, are covered in those little plastic balls or the nylon balls so it doesn't hurt your scalp. And then the actual bristles themselves are super duper bendy, like super bendy, but anyway. I've been using this for probably about two and a half, almost three weeks. And I do have to say, I do notice a difference with this brush. I notice that there's a lot, a lot less hair fallout. And I do like that it is kind of like, it's, it's, it's the bristle placement, whatever. It's kind of spaced out more. So like it's wider. So kind of like a white tooth comb almost. But doesn't hurt the scalp, doesn't scratch the scalp at all. And it really is good at detangling. Really, really like this brush. I'm impressed with it. And I'm like, oh, it's a brush. Brush is a brush, but I do notice a difference when I do use this. I like it a lot. Very easily and quickly detangles the hair, does a pull. I don't notice, like, I don't know if you can see it, but there isn't a ton of hair in here, like compared to what I would usually have, like with my other brush, my Ion brush. It's just really, really nice. But let's go in and get into the claims. Sorry, throwing away in the garbage. Let's go in and get into the claims of the vented style. So the speed dry brush vented design speeds drying time by allowing moisture to escape faster and it's heat resistant bristles gently detangle while blow drying. So you can skip the extra heat and avoid damage, keeping your hair healthy and happy. It has the vented design, removes excess moisture, has heat flex, heat resistant bristles. So like even the little bristles themselves are heat resistant. So if you do do a lot of heat styling, a lot of blow drying, you're gonna be good to go. And the brush design contours to scalp for extra comfort. I can totally see that. It's kind of, kind of curved. But I really, really like this brush. I definitely think it's worth the money. Nine bucks isn't too bad. And like I said, for me, I bought it because it's easy to clean. I like to clean my hairbrush at least once a week. Just because, you know, scalp oil, dirt, debris, hair. And sometimes if it's a super densely packed brush, it can be hard to clean. So that's why I got the vented one. But I can totally see if you do blow dry your hair every time you wash it, that yeah, you know, it's a pretty big vented brush, a lot of vents in there. So as you're, you know, pulling through your hair, you can pretty much have your blow dryer almost pressed up against the back of the brush. So that way 
you're getting air into your hair. So let's just blow dry. I haven't blow dried in forever. Let's just do it. I wasn't going to, but me and Sean are going out tonight. We haven't been out in forever. He is having his surgery here pretty soon. And we are going to go see Black Widow. It is at our cheap theater. So it's only going to be $4 a person. So and we're watching the Marvel movies in chronological order. So we just watched Captain America Civil War last night. So the next one is um, Black Widow. Sorry about that. And then after Black Widow is going to be Black Panther. So I'm excited. We haven't been to the movies in forever. But let me just go ahead. I'm just going to go and blow dry my hair. And I'll use the brush. So obviously I'm going to go ahead and like mute this part and speed through it. So let's do it. One eternity later. Whew. So, yeah, I think this brush did really, really good. I don't blow my, I don't blow dry my hair often enough to know if it really sped up um, drying time. But I did notice when I flipped my hair back over from like when I was upside down, when I flipped it back up, it usually would be super tangly and like super hard to comb or brush through. But with the uh, the speed dry, is that what it's called? The speed dry brush. Um, yeah, it got through those tangles like no one's business. So yeah, I think this is a really, really nice brush. I can see what all the hype was about with the wet brush brand. So yeah, if you're looking for a new hairbrush, I would not sleep on the wet brush brand anymore. Really, really good. So anyway, I'll go ahead and link this one down below. It was super affordable on Amazon, like I said. So be linked down below. It is an affiliate link. You're welcome to use it. You definitely don't have to, but it's there if you want to. But anyway, hope you did enjoy this different type of uh, hair review. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Let me know down below in the comments if you tried the wet brush brand. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know down below. And just so you know, I do have an eBay page where I sell discount makeup, beauty, skincare, hair care, all sorts of stuff. I also have a YouTube channel. Yes, I do. But I also have a Facebook group, there we go, where um, we share memes, the new looks, hauls, pet pictures, all sorts of stuff. Link is down below as well. And of course, you're more than welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all about your glam, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start auto playing here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a second.